Hello people. Today we shall learn about the service rest. So what are the prerequisites we need to create before creation of the service rest rule? Uh, we shall know for today. So many of us will have any confusion on uh, you know what are the rules need to be created before creation of the service package and as well as service rest rule. So let's uh, clear all the doubts uh, during this session and uh, I hope this video will help to you to enhance the service rest as well. Now check it out. So uh, as we know that right so integration is nothing but what in order to integrate with the other systems. So right now we are integrating with the Pega with respect uh, to the non Pega okay using the rest. So as we know that you know abbreviation of this rest is nothing but representation uh, you know state transfer. So with the help of this uh, service rest now we are going to uh, integrate with the non Pega. So in this session we only learn about the what are the prerequisites in order to uh, you know before creation of the service rest and the uh, you know coming video I will be posting how we can create the service package and what are the configurations need to be done in the service package and followed by service rest as well. So in this video uh, in this session I will be uh, you know uh, probing how will uh, you know we can create the uh, you know uh, classes different classes with respect to the primary and as well as a child let's move forward so over here now these are the action items uh, number one would be creation of the uh, primary integration class uh, how we need to create the primary integration class and what will be the context uh, i will be saying in the coming slides and uh, action number two would be the uh, creation of the request and as well as a respond child classes and the action item three would be a uh, creation of the request and as well as response properties in the respect to child classes so whatever the we have created in the action two uh, in the respect to child classes now we need to create the response and as well as request properties and the final and the action four would be creation of the re request and as well as a response page properties in the primary integration classes so these are the folks aggregation of this action item so let's move forward to uh, understand what is the actionable item one two three and four respectively let's move forward yes and overview up to uh, you know this now this would be now uh, this is the context cwr iphone end. now we need to create this as a primary integration class now this is the example which i have provided so over here now we need to create a child request class so that means the context would be this thing and uh, here now we need to create a child request class and over here now we need to create a response class as well so over here now i have represented with a request class and response classes of child respectively to the primary integration class now over here now if we just clearly observe over here uh, for the child request class now i have represented with the cwr iphone in iphone request class for the request class and for the cwr iphone in iphone response class for the child response class respectively for the primary integration class so that means we need to create two child classes all right now we shall move to the next slide so over here now we had created the integration class primary integration class and also we had created the child request classes as well now in this now we need to create child request property so in this whatever the class we have created now in this class context now we need to create a child request property I didn't mention any sort of page property over here uh, just I mentioned a single value property so over here now I have to create a user ID this is for just for a reference purpose and same like over here in the response class now we need to create a child response properties now example we can say username uh, date of birth pan card number other number and etc it's up to you that means uh, whenever the user uh, you know fetches with the user id now based on the user id now we need to fetch the 
user details like over here now these are the response properties so up to now we had created a primary integration class so in this class context now we had created two uh, two child request classes as well uh, one is of request and another is of response class respectively and for this request class we had created a child property uh, you know request property and for this response class we had created a response properties as well so up to now we had created up to now up to this now we shall move to the next forward in order to have the next action item. now here comes now over here now up to now we had created up to here right now coming back to this primary integration class now we need to create a request page type property and as well as response page type property in the request page type property now the page definition would be child request so whatever the child request class we had created right so that context you need to provide over here in the page definition so that we will be linking with the child request class to the primary integration class so same like this now we need to create a response type page type property with by giving the page definition of the response class so which is of child to this context so as like uh, for the request page now we need to create a link between the child response class and as well as a main uh, primary integration class so that means whatever the properties we had created over here now we will be getting in the page type structure in the primary integration class so with this we had completed the prerequisites of the uh, uh, you know uh, this service rest so with this now we will be creating all the structure and next we will be creating the service package and followed by service rest rule so these are the prerequisites which we must create before creating the service package and as well as a service rest rule so i trust that this video uh, uh, will uh, enhance your uh, knowledge on the service rest and clear all your doubts as well so if you like my video if you like this session so please support uh, our youtube channel and please like share and as well as comment if you have any sort of doubts in this during this session and uh, if you have any sort of uh, pega doubts you can always reach to me by uh, by commenting and by reaching to my mail address as well thank you for time thank you for patience have a good day bye bye